In 1968, Linda Slauson, a door-to-door -door encyclopedia saleswoman from Portland, Oregon, knocked on the door of Jerry Brudos, an unassuming man, a man with a fetish that would lead to murder. It was to be the last door Linda ever knocked on. I'm Hilly Horror from Horrorland, and this is the terrible case of the shoe fetish slayer. Jerry Brudos was born in Webster, South Dakota, as the younger of two sons. His mother had wanted a girl and was very disappointed that she had another son instead. She would also constantly subject him to emotional and physical abuse. Brudos had a fetish for women's shoes from the age of five after playing with stiletto heeled shoes at a local junkyard. As a child, he reportedly attempted to steal the shoes of his first grade teacher, and would also steal underwear from female neighbors. With his growing perversion causing trouble at home, his parents sent him to a psychiatrist, and he spent his teen years, in, and out, of a psychiatric hospital. In his teenage years, Brudos began to stalk local women, knocking them down, or choking them unconscious, and often fleed with their shoes. At age 17, he abducted and beat a young woman, threatening to stab her, if she did not follow his sexual demands. He was shortly arrested, and taken to the psychiatric ward of Oregon State Hospital, which is where he stayed, for nine months. It was in January, of 1968, that Brudo's sexual fetishes, finally, spilled over, to murder. When 19-year-old Linda Slauson knocked on his door, his mother and children were still in the house. But, this did not stop his growing desire, and he lured Linda, into, the basement. He knocked her out, with a wooden plank, and strangled her. Now his sick fantasies could play out. Brudos dressed her body in different female undergarments and shoes, and provocatively posed her body like a doll. Once he was done, he used a hacksaw to cut off her left foot. Whilst he disposed of her body in the local Willamette River, he kept the severed foot in a freezer. He would often get it out to model his collection of high heel shoes. In May, of the same year, Brudos struck again. 18-year-old Karen Sprinker was abducted at gunpoint from a parking lot. He brought her to his garage, made her try on his collection of undergarments, and posed her for photos. He then raped and murdered her. Brudos had sex with the body on several occasions and even cut off her breasts. He then tied the body to a car engine and threw it in the Willamette. On November 26, 1968, Brudos picked his third victim. 23-year-old Jane Susan Whitney had the misfortune of breaking down on an interstate just as Brudos was passing. Brudos offered to drive her to his home to call a tow truck, but she never made it alive. He strangled Jan in the car and raped her post-mortem. He kept the body hanging from a pulley in his garage for several days, during which he dressed, photographed, and had sex with the poor girl's body. He cut off one of her breasts to make a cast for a paperweight and threw the body into the river, along with Slauson's now rotted foot. In 1969, Brudo's last victim was 22-year-old Linda Saley. Brudo's abducted her from a shopping mall parking lot. He raped and murdered her in his garage. Like his other victims, he threw her body in the Willamette River. A month later, a fisherman found the bodies of Saley and Sprinker in the Long Tom River. Police quickly found evidence against Brudos, and arrested him for the murders. Upon his arrest, he made a full confession. On June 28, 1969, Brudos pled guilty to three first-degree murders, 
instead of Sprinker, Whitney and Zaley, and was sentenced to three consecutive terms of life imprisonment in Oregon State Penitentiary. Though he confessed to Slauson's murder, Rudos was not convicted for it because he did not make and keep photographs of the body. Police only ever found her foot.